Hello everyone, I hope you are well. I am Dr. Elham Delzandeh and this video on digital twins is co-produced by Mustafa Al-Athami. Mustafa is an outstanding and bright researcher at Nottingham Trent University, whose research covers various topics around advanced digital technologies, particularly digital twins, VRAR visualization, reality capture, and Internet of Things. In this video, we will discuss the definitions and applications of digital twins in the construction industry. Before I explain what digital twin means, I would like to underline that while we hear a lot about digital twins in the world of construction technology, this is not a concept used in building sector only. Buildings are becoming more and more connected to each other and to infrastructure and people. Let's see what a digital twin is. Digital twin refers to a virtual model or digital replica of living or non-living physical entities. In general, the term is linked to smart manufacturing and industry 4.0, with a focus on automation, connection, Internet of Things, and big data. In the construction and built environment sector, the incorporation of real-time data with an existing detailed building information model can create a type of digital twin of the building. In an interesting research IoT analytics research article, digital twin is presented as a BIM model with more complexity consisting extraction of real-time data from building using various sensors, data analysis for building control, and the extensive use of machine learning techniques to analyze large data extracted from the building to predict realistic estimations about the building. The concept of twin is back to Apollo program in 1960s. NASA created twins of the command module Lunar Module and Lunar Rover. The twins all stayed on the ground, but were used extensively for maintenance, support, and troubleshooting. Between 22 and 2012, Digital Twin reappeared in various industries. In 2012, the term first used by NASA reappeared as Digital Twin, an integrated multiphysics, multi-scale, probabilistic simulation of a vehicle or system that uses the best available physical models, sensor updates, fleet history, etc. to mirror the life of its flying twin. Recently, with the rise of Internet of Things IoT, the term has gained in more popularity. In addition, many large corporations such as Microsoft, IBM Watson, Cisco, Siemens, and General Electric are actively showcasing the current and potential applications of digital twins in the industry. As we already know, a digital twin is a digital replica of a physical asset. But what does a digital twin do? This is important. It activates data to power better decision making. So, digital twin is not only a digital replica of a physical asset, it's way beyond that. Digital twin is the data that supercharges its value. It helps users do more with less and provide them with insights, scenarios and representations. Now 
that we know what a digital twin is, let's look into some other definitions reflected on the IoT Analytics article. Siemens, for example, defines digital twin as a virtual representation of a physical product or process used to understand and predict the physical counterpart's performance characteristics. Dassault Aviation Systems defines digital twin as a virtual representation of what has been produced. And IBM focuses on the incorporation of real-time data and defines it as a virtual representation of a physical object or system across its life cycle using real-time data to enable understanding, learning and reasoning. So what is a digital twin in a building? It's a digital replica of potential and actual physical assets, processes, living entities, spaces, systems and devices in a building. Digital twin of a building lights up users and operators with data and information to optimize building performance and improve the decision making. The twin model must have static and dynamic data integrated to power up building. Static could be the information model of the building, a BIM model. Dynamic is how we collect operational information throughout building life cycle. So, digital twin enables building users to monitor and control building entities, send and receive data, and continuously inform the user about the actual state of the asset. I hope this video has helped you understand the definitions and applications of digital twins in the world of construction. In the next video, we will dig deeper and discuss digital twin standards and requirements. Take care.